Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing an opening for uh, the structure deck, Cybernetic Revolution I'm going to unbox. I, I, I got three of these so I can build a Cyber Dragon deck and include some new cards they got. But just for this video, I'm going to be opening one of the boxes so you can see what's inside. So I have been working on a lot of different trading card games lately. Uh, in terms of the videos, I like have lots of the bloody fight stuff since it's new. And we're going to be going back to Vanguard in about a week with the release of Binding Force of the Black Rings, which I'm really excited for. I really want to build Revengers. That's going to be my deck for this year. Uh, Revenger Raging Form Dragon, so hopefully I pull a couple of those. Um, so it comes with... As with a typical Yu-Gi-Oh! structure deck, it usually includes like 40-something cards. Uh, it gives you a complete deck of 40 cards, plus some exceed, some extra deck cards as well. So you get a mat. Which looks pretty cool. I like how they, they have improved the structure deck mats. Play mats that come with the structure decks over time. They used to just be the blank default one. Now they've they've actually gone and added more of the key cards. So it comes with this. Kind of gives you a heads up on like how to power up the deck. So it tells you about Shadow Spectres, Judgment of the Light, Cosmo Blazer, Lord Tech, and Galaxy cards that have uh, or booster packs that have cards that would offer some pretty good support for the Cyber Dragons. And then you get the play mat. So I guess what I'll be doing real quick is we'll just be taking a look at the cards that come in the trial deck, or not the trial deck, in the structure deck. Okay, so it comes with an ultra rare Cyber Dragon Nova. That's an ex a rank five Xyz machine, and to Make this monster, you need two level five machine type monsters, so Cyber Dragon is an excellent pick for that. And then we have a ultra rare twin cyber twin dragon. Two, four, what is that? Eight, level eight. Made by fusing two cyber dragons. So pretty cool card. And then we have a super rare cyber dragon core. A super dragon cyber dragon dairy. And those are the hulls. So four hulls. Two ultra rare, which are the extra deck cards, and then we have two super rares from the main deck. Now, the reason why I decided to actually put together this deck is because it's an old archetype that they bring back, and since I can't build Bujin, uh, I'll just build Cyber Dragons. So we have Cyber Dragon, the original print from the tin, from the first, like 2006 tin. Then we have the Cyber Dragon alternate art. This was reprinted. This was printed as a super rare and a rare, I believe. And then we have Cyber Dragon Zway. I don't remember. I don't know if that's a new card. It probably is. I don't recognize it. So we get two copies of those. And you know, it would have been nice if they gave us three Cyber Dragons. Probably like two of these, and one of those, or two of those, and one of these. And then we have Proto Cyber Dragon. Oh, but I see what they did. So they. They put uh, cards in the deck that are also treated as Cyber Dragon one in the field. So two copies of Proto Cyber Dragon. And then Cyber Valley, that's a pretty good card back in the day. Cyber Larva, I think this is another new card. So two of those. Cyber Phoenix, I think that's also another new card. There's supposed to be five new cards. Well, I guess one, two, three, four... Maybe Zway is new and these are just reprinted. I'm not sure. And then we have Cyber Dinosaur. Cyber Eltanian. Eltanian? Tanin. And then Armored Cybern. Cybern. Satellite Cannon. Solar Wind Jammer. Night Jade. Falchion Beta. 
uh, Reflect Bounder. This is actually a really good reprint. I remember this card is from uh, Invasion of Chaos or Dark Crisis. It's from way back in the day. It was originally an Ultra Rare, I believe. And then the Light Six Hexed Sealed Fusion. And a Shining Angel because there's so many lights. Would have been nice if they put an Honest in here as well. Alright, for spells, Cyber Repair Plant, Evolution Burst. This was originally, I believe, a Secret Rare or a Hollow of some, some form. And then the much needed reprint of Super Polymerization. I finally have one of these. This is my first one. So now I have a play set of three. Power Bond. Limiter Removal. Megamorph, so those are just OTK cards for machines. And then DDR, Different Dimension Reincarnation. It's, a good for, it's like a premature burial for decks that remove a lot of stuff. Or banish a lot of things. And then Mystical Space Typhoon, That's a, always could use more of those. Light of Redemption. Machina Armored Unit. And then for the traps, we have Cyber Network. Cybernetic Hidden Technology. Three of a Kind. Trap Stun, another pretty good reprint. Dimensional Prison, a very good reprint. Could always use more of these. And Malevolent Catastrophe, this is like the remaining Heavy Storm card that exists right now since everything else was banned. And then Wabaku, it's a pretty good reprint. And Call of the Hunt is also a good reprint. So overall, it's a pretty decent deck. Uh, I like the utility cards that they reprinted for the traps as well as some of the. Uh, Reprints. This is a very good reprint, uh, and Super Polymerization is an excellent reprint. So overall, I think this was a pretty good structure deck. Stay tuned. I'm going to be building a Cyber Dragon deck. Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to be posting it though, since I have a lot of other plans for uh, Buddy Fight as well as Vanguard. Uh, but stay tuned. I'll definitely be posting this deck. As always, guys, rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks.